Rooster Dad 50 here. Well, it's been a while since I've made any uh, videos, but um, I made a few promises that some are coming. So, what I'm doing right now, sorry for the car noise, is um, I'm finally getting off my behind and I'm making a uh, making a knife. Actually, making three uh, knives in a uh, my version of a bushcraft knife. So, got to start sooner or later. So, got my design here. We'll see what uh, see what comes of that. Got the supplies already brought in. Uh, ordered out a Jantz supply here. They've got a lot of nice bolsters and bolster material, and, and they have nice pricing on uh, handle material. That's what I got here is some scales for uh, made out of walnut and I'll go ahead and uh, try to stabilize those with that Minwax wood hardener and then use the bolsters. I'm going to try this first see how these do and then as I increase my skills maybe get a uh, get some bar stock and try to make some of this myself. I don't know. The pricing was not bad on these at all. So Jantz got the stuff right out to me. So and then just got in today the steel and I'm starting out with an 01 tool steel. This from uh, the New Jersey Steel Baron. And if any of you know Gavco, he uh, recommended them, so I'm giving them a shot for my first for my first project, and we'll we'll see what happens here. Let's sit here, try to open this. <laughs> but uh, what I got is uh, a one tool steel, and this is going to be. Well, I'm going to try to do the heat treat myself on everything. So it's supposed to be fairly easy to heat treat. Boy, how do you open these things? <laughs> Oops, without bending my knife. Kershaw leak. Boy, some of you are probably cringing, thinking, what is he doing to his knife? So I'll try the other end here. See if I can do it without bumping the camera too. But I got this in a 532nd thickness. My first real unboxing and I've totally botched it here. <laughs> That's not working either. Well, oh. <laughs> so much for that. But anyways, I'll get the stuff open and uh, slightly bent my knife. I'll get that. I'll straighten that out. Talk on it. Anyways, so I'm doing three of these. My version of a bushcrafter, just a little bit bigger than most of them. And uh, I will keep you posted with this progress. I already have a buyer for one of them, and he's actually trading me a car for it. So it's gonna be a, a project car, It'll be a Bradley GT, and a couple of motors for it. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes and. I'll keep you in the loop on that deal too. In the meantime, I think I need to find a saw <laughs> and saw this thing open so I can get out my steel. All right, Rooster Dad, 50 out.